How's it going on guys, today we're back with a brand new responseless video and today I'm going to be reviewing the Assault Rifle Dew MK2 This Assault Rifle is up on the offers for 8 euros but you can also rent it so also you guys yourselves can try it out It's been a lot requested so previously I did the Dark Matter Gun review and many people were requesting to do this review before, like, I've been, like because I'm recording the Dark Matter review and this, I just recorded the Dark Matter gun review basically. And I'm gonna record this because it was very much requested. So, without further ado, because we only have nine minutes, let's go ahead in missions quickly. And then we're gonna go ahead in multiplayer. So, let's see, how is it in missions? I am using also Zombie Bull, just so you guys know. So, it's pretty broken, isn't it? Yes, yeah, actually pretty good. I remember I remember people were playing with it. The ammo count is good, it's a poison weapon. The damage is alright. Decent damage, fire rate is good, range is let's see the range. Pretty good range. It's actually a good weapon. It's like the heavy masculine, just like the lower fire rate, doesn't it? It reminds me of that, doesn't it? It's pretty it's pretty it's pretty much it's pretty much like yeah, around around something like that. Heavy masculine just with slower fire rate. But yeah, it's pretty good, like, can we get it? But now we're still missed. I am also using glass can too, so I'm doubling the damage. But yeah, poison weapons. Poison weapons are always, like, annoying in the game, but they're strong. All the poison weapons are... I don't, haven't seen any poison weapon that isn't as strong. Because the poison effect kills the people, like, fast. Dude, we're dying from this guy. Grenades, what the hell? Yeah, so it's pretty good, isn't it? Alright, so let me go now ahead in multiplayer free for all and let's test it there. Alright, so we just joined the lobby. So let's let's test it out. Let's test it out. Come on, with the post heavy skull again. We just start off and getting killed with the post heavy skull. It's pretty annoying, isn't it? Alright, so it's actually a really good weapon. But uh, probably if it was like three and a half years, I would have already bought it. But like eight euros, it's kind of deba debatable. It's kind of debatable. Or is using the vortex gun rip? So yeah, I would say it has decent damage. Poison effect is a poison weapon because it has a poison effect, so that's really good. Decent damage, good fire rate, really good ammo count. Decent reload speed, but the problem I would say is like Problem is the rate the rate no the good range also the problem I would say The damage isn't really that good and I would say I don't know actually not good damage. I would say because damage is kind of slow isn't it? Actually everything is good with this weapon Range is good everything is good just I would say it's weak Everything else is good and actually no, the fire rate isn't fast, it's slow fire rate. Compared like the heavy masculine as like I know I know those types of weapons. Yeah, I would say weak damage, that's the problem. But like it depends like like this guy that didn't doesn't have really good gear, I killed him instantly. But people like you have like the medic jackets way way harder. So yeah guys, I'm gonna leave ahead the gameplay, put some music on and catch you guys at the end.
All right, so the match ended. Let's see how it went. I didn't see we was going that well, but it was like a try-hard lobby. Actually, wow, we were first. First with 16 kills and 13 deaths. We didn't get the most kills in the lobby. Wow, we were first. I was actually surprised. I don't know. I was actually surprised. I th thought we didn't go that well. All right, so now let's do the conclusion. So basically, the conclusion for this weapon is this. It has really good range, really good ammo count, really good accuracy, and also really good reload speed. But these are all the good things, but the main things that are the main things that make a good weapon are the bad things. So basically the bad things are it has weak damage and slow fire rate. So these are the only bad things, but they're like severe bad things. Weak damage is like really important, like if to have strong damage. And this gun has weak damage. The damage isn't really like good. And the fire rate is like average, I would say. But basically the damage isn't really like good on this weapon. Would I recommend you guys to buy it for 8 euros? It's kind of debatable. Listen here, guys. 8 euros is kind of expensive. For one weapon, the, like if regarding that the other Dark Matter handgun is better than this and it costs three and a half euros, which is euros basically is around four four dollars US dollars five somewhere there. Eight is about ten US dollars. It's around it's around there. It's around there. So for eight euros, it's kind of skeptical. I'm not gonna buy it actually. To be honest with you guys, I'm not gonna buy it. No way. I have so many weapons, so it's not worth it for eight years. Cause like I'm a player like you guys. I don't get free stuff from Ninja Legends. I'm not sponsored yet. I don't know if I will be. I might be. I don't know. But for the, for the time being, I'm not sponsored, so I pay with my own cash the money I spend on responsibles. So yeah, the, I don't think there's any point for me to buy it since I have so many weapons and I spend so much money on this game. And I also bought the Dark Matter handgun. Just the not hand, yeah, handgun basically. Just, to, just some few hours ago, and it's actually really, really good, and it's half the price of this, like literally half the price of this, even more than half the price because this eight years and another ten and a half. So, would I recommend you guys to buy it? It's up to you. It's not a bad weapon. It's a good weapon, but personally, I wouldn't buy it. But it's a good weapon. Like, I'm not gonna diss it. It's a good weapon. It's, it's for sure 100 million percent not a bad weapon. So yeah, that was it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the support lately. Every video I'll say to you guys, it's been we've been smashing it. Can we get? more than 50 likes on the video i know that 50 likes might seem a joke to you but like 50 likes is really really good for my videos to get like 50 likes and above is like a, a really successful video so yeah can we get 50 likes on the video there's so many new different videos and i also want you guys to message me on facebook instagram discord i always look at my messages i can't reply to everyone because there are many messages but i want you guys to message me respond to those ideas like also Fortnite if you want, but mainly Respondables, like what do you guys want to see, because I have mainly my channel is based on Respondables, the community. So what do you guys want to see, even Fortnite ideas guys, what do you guys want to see on Respondables, just tell me guys on Instagram, Facebook, Discord, any social media, I have linked Twitter, just yeah, message me there and tell me guys ideas on what do you guys want to see, like do you want to see the post heavy vs the heavy masculine like i have that also as an idea written down do you, like stuff like that random gun challenge i have all those ideas written down and these are all upcoming videos but i'm waiting i have all these videos planned out there are many videos to edit and all that before the new update and then i'll play the new update and then after i'll do all those all those ideas as you guys re requested so i'll play the new update do all those bias button reviews and all those videos on the new update and then i'm gonna make all those videos because i have some free time and make those videos on the random gun challenge and the one videos you guys requested so yeah anyways that was just a quick thing i wanted to say thank you guys for watching the video hope that helped you out thanks for watching again Peace.